Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create slider sets for any body you, of your choice for Skyrim Special Edition using Outfit Studio and Body Slide. Now this is a bit of a tricky little process and it will take some sculpting and time on your effort, but if you actually decide to actually go down the route and actually create your own sliders, it will be beneficial to you, yourself, and the community. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do. Today we'll be working with this body that I created from you. UNP um, remaster project, which is the high poly version of the new UNP body, and we're going to be showing you uh, an idea of like how we basically we're going to be creating our slider sets on this. Now, make sure the textures are on the body, so you can do that by going to settings and going to the game data path. Make sure it's in the Skyrim Special Edition um, data folder. Click on this and click on that, and click select folder. Uh, wherever your Steam folder is, you'll find your Skyrim Special Edition. Um, folder there. Make sure your, your skeletons and roots are, are ready to go and click OK. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Outfit Studio. Now usually if you create a slider set, um, you're, you're, you might want to use the nude version first before you use the actual clothed version, but because this video is um, basically designed to teach you this in, in a friendly family manner, I'm watch, we're going to be using the uh, clothing version of UNP. So let's make, go ahead and expand this for Outfit Studio. I'm going to load my project for the vanilla um, vanilla body under our UNP OSP file. Now we're going to go down here. We're going to click vanilla. Click OK. Now heads up guys, before we get started, you're going to want to basically mask certain areas of the body. So that way when you actually make your slider sets, you don't actually touch these parts of the body. It'd be the wrist, the ankles, and the neck area. This way when it connects to the actual body, um, it does, you don't mess, you're not messing with the weights or the seams. So first thing we're going to do is click the mask. We're going to adjust the, the brush so we don't it's not too big and we don't have to worry too much about the um, going around. Now, this part, you're going to want to get a really good mask around the, around this part of the body, the wrist area, so that way you're not screwing with it. Now, and then you're going to want to do the neck as well. All right, now before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. I will skip ahead with a jump cut on the video. Okay, as you guys can see, the body slide looks like it's ready to go here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our furry first slider. Now, in order to get the sliders to look like body slide sliders, we're gonna go over here to the body slide section. So let's look at an actual UNP body slide slider. As you can see here, the sliders are actually edged over here. I'm going to show you how to set up the body for those slider sets, let's say for um, Never Nude, right? i give you the preview real quick. How to make those sliders over on this side instead of over here, because sometimes these actually end up over here. And I'm going to show you how, where, that, where, that, where that lies and how that's affected. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to create our very first slider. We're going to be using the two increase mesh volume and decrease mesh volume. This will allow you to create your slider sets um, back and forth. We're going to give you two basically two examples and we'll use the four arms only and the rest of the body you can basically uh, start sculpting yourself and creating your own sliders as you choose. So you're going to go ahead and click new sliders and you can name your slider whatever you want. I'm going to be choosing four arms for now. Click here so and when, now when you do this, you're going to click expand and you're going to invert the body. Don't worry about touching these if you don't want to add anything to this. Just leave these alone. These will make sure that the sliders stay come, come on this side. Okay. Click OK. Now we're going to make the brush a little bigger so we can sculpt a little bit better. Make, we're going to increase the volume around the, the arms. Here we go. Try to, try to be as close to the muscle as you can, the way it looks more natural, however you decide to make your body. I try to avoid the elbow if you can, because the elbow can, like anything that's a joint wise, try to avoid that if you can, just try to sculpt around it a little bit. Kind of give it a nice fresh look. It looks really nice. 
nice, actually. Okay, and we want to keep it about that. I mean, you can go overboard and make him Popeye arms, you know, and, and uh, make him huge. But this looks kind of nice for what we're looking for. Okay, all you got to do is click this, and now your slider has been made. See? You can go back and forth. All right, so next what we're going to do is we're going to do the calf muscles. Now, however, how can I make the... Actually, we'll do the calf muscles in a moment. Now, think about this. How I can make them bigger, but how can I make them smaller? So we're going to call we're going to call this new slider forearm thin. This one we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We're going to invert it. Okay. And now we're going to use we're going to decrease the mesh volume. Can I get up around the joint there? Now, guys, I'm not a sculptor. I, I'm not good at this stuff. I actually feel like I'm terrible at this. Um, I'm just kind of going around. I'm just kind of following the muscles as if it was if it was an actual natural body. Okay. You don't over generate it too much because you get too skinny to look funky. All right. So that looks pretty good from my point of view. But like I said, I'm not a I'm not a sculptor, so I can't really give a good definition of that. So click here, and now you have this slider, and now you have this slider. You can make different body adjustments with each one on however you choose to build your new body. All right. So next what we're going to do is we're going to create the calf muscles. Same process to kind of give you a better idea of how the sliders work. And we'll give her fat calves. going along the lining there with the calves make sure they go out more it's kind of following the lining as if it was a natural calf increase this area up here a little bit around here all right so this is what our calves look like not perfect, but at least it looks somewhat doable. And now you can increase the calves. There's your there's your calf slider. Okay. So, and as you see with the masking, it didn't touch this. She's got fat calves. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna save the project. I do like to conform to all, just in case. Click Save, Project As. We're going to put this as Vanilla Test. Make sure to click the project. Make sure when you're creating your body, you have everything looks exactly like this. Okay, and click Save. Now, if you're using um, Nexus Mod Manager, this will, the body that saves from the Office Studio will be in your data folder. The same with Vortex, it will be in the data folder. If you're using Mod Organizer, it should go straight to your override folder. All right, so click out of here. We're going to exit out of body slide. Now, there's one more thing we're going to do, and I'm going to show you in a moment. Okay, here we have, we have our OSD, and then we have our slider set here as well. All right, so we're going to click this, and we're going to open up our test version. All right, but here's the problem. There is one thing we do need to fix. This, the inversion created with the body, as you can see, is already set to left, from left to right. So, but it's not normal. If I go back to here, all, the body goes back to normal. So it's on the right side, the body's normal, but the left side's not. We actually fix this inside of the OSP file that you created. And, you use, and you're going to need Notepad++ to do this. Okay, so as you see here, the body's all bent up out of shape. This is how you fix it. Click out of here. Click out of here. Go to your override folder or your whatever you wherever you put the file. You're looking for your OSP file. Open this, and you're going to go. Out and you're, now you need to do this manually because um, it's not going to allow you to do it on um, through Mod Organizer to open up with a Notepad plus plus. Okay, so we're going to go to override folder. Right click and open edit with Notepad plus plus. This is really simple, guys. You're going to go for your invert here. Each slider that you've created. Each one, you go here and you 
delete true and add false. This is a Boolean way of thinking. <laughs> Any programmer knows this is a joke. Okay. Now you've just fixed it and it looks really nice. Get out of here. Open up body slide again. Open up your demo. And as you can see, the body is normal. So when I go here, it actually expands the body on the slider set. Okay. <laughs> and there, ladies and gentlemen, you have your sliders and how to build sliders for Body Slide and Outfit Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please make sure you uh, endorse Onius, Jir, and Caliente for creating Body Slide and the tools that we have. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope I, I hope this was uh, this works for you. Remember, you can create your Dragon and Troll Body Slide set now with this knowledge. Anyway, guys, um, I'm hoping that this project for UP Remastered will be done in a couple months from now, and everyone in the community will be able to use it. If you're a sculptor and you would like to help us build slider sets, please contact me um, on Nexus or contact me on the disc on Discord, and I and just kind of reach out to me and, and see if you and I let you join our server, and you can maybe help us create some slider some awesome slider sets for the UNP body that we can use as a norm for the for the coming project for the coming future of the project. Anyway, guys. Um, if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you click that little bell and the button at the same time so that when I upload my videos, you get them as well. Once again, my name is Tony Willey. Thank you so much for the click and your contribution to our modding community. And I will see you next time.